In this video, we're going to be plotting a quadratic graph. And the quadratic graph we're going to plot is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1. And we are going to plot this for the x values between minus 2 and positive 2. Remember from our video on linear graphs, this notation here means x can take any value between minus 2 and positive 2. So like with our linear graphs, we're going to draw ourselves a table. And we're going to have our x values on the top. And on the bottom, we're going to have our y values. So x is going to go from minus 2 all the way up to positive 2. And we're just going to look at those kind of integers. So to get our y values, we need to substitute in our x values into this equation. So the way I'm going to lay it out is I'm going to say clearly I'm substituting in x minus 2 and then work out my y value. So I'm substituting in minus 2, so I'm going to put it in brackets. I'm squaring that. Minus 2 lots of minus 2, subtract 1. And it's quite useful to use the brackets, especially when you have negatives, because it makes it very clear when you've got to times negatives by either positives or negatives as well. So minus 2 squared, well, minus 2 times minus 2 is going to give you positive 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 again, another positive 4. And we've still got the subtract 1, so it's going to give us 7. When x is minus 1, similar thing. Minus 1 squared, subtract 2 lots of minus 1, subtract 1. And this would give us, when we work it out, positive 2. We're just going to do one more calculation before I cheat and put the answers in x equals 0, y equals 0 squared, minus 2 lots of 0, minus 1. Remember, 0 squared and anything times 0 is 0. So we're going to get minus 1 for this one. And the final bits in our graph, or our table, I should say, is minus 2 and minus 1. Unlike with linear graphs, there's no real easy way to check. But what we can notice is our values are going down and then going back up again. So we have that kind of shape, that smiley face shape that a quadratic should have. So if we plot these, so a negative 2, so we're going 2 along the x axis up to 7. And we should really make sure that those points are clearly where they need to be because later when it comes to drawing the line of best fit through these points joining up that not joint line of best fit but joining up these points with a smooth arc it's a better way of saying it we need to make sure it's as accurate as possible so 1 is minus 2, and then there. So as I said before, we need to join up these points with a smooth curve so it goes through all the points. Now this is particularly difficult on the computer, but something like this. They aren't joined up with a straight line. You're going to try and draw a smooth curve. Because remember, our quadratic is a curve, not a straight line. 